Two teams, Asian Games silver medalists, China, are visiting Hong Kong, looking to apply some misery to them. Hong Kong haven't been convincing. Beat Thailand yesterday. And also beat, now oh, they went down to Japan yesterday, 31-7. Earlier on today, Hong Kong beat Korea 34-0 and China. They beat Sri Lanka 36-0. So I'd expect this to be reasonably close. I just think, Jed, that the Chinese have a couple of finishes that Hong Kong don't. Hong Kong need Olsen Thorne, Aggie Poon. Players like Melody Lee is having a cracking tournament. And Poon at seven. Could be another cracking semi. Colleen Chosfold gets us underway. In front of her home crowd. They nearly won that back. It's a, it's a bit of a ferocious dog fight on the ground there. Eventually, Charlie Brown from Singapore penalises Hong Kong. Well, it's an interesting choice of strip by both teams. White on white, yes. They uh, team managers haven't been talking to each other. It's luckily, you know, both teams aren't Chinese. We'd never tell them apart. In the picture, there's a playmaker, Goo. Goo at four. Here she goes now. She is the one to watch. Look at that pass. It's unbelievable. Sensational. Here we now trying to get on the outside is Wang. She's got a massive stride on her. Pulled down well. Hong Kong defence comes up straight in the line. They're giving them lots of metres though. They're back on their heels, Hong Kong. Here's Ruan. Look at the size of her against some of those smaller Hong Kong players. Especially Poon there. It's about half her size. There's another ball on the field for some reason. Black mark against the ball retrieval team. And look at that straight in up. Wang on the inside to Shen. And there we have the first try of the game. A frantic start. Hong Kong defending. A lot of defending there. Well, we've just seen some magnificent passing from the Chinese team. They've gone sideline to sideline three times. Oh, they're going upstairs, Jed. TMO has been called into action. Not sure why. Was it the, the late challenge there? Was she... Did she manage to dislodge the ball? Well, what are they saying? Goo didn't quite get have control of this when it went to the ground. okay to me yeah Charlie Brown agrees so goo does get the spoils she'll convert her own try Surely. well along with Nakamura she's been probably one of the players of the tournament goo She's on the verge of going to the big time. She comes down, she does a lot of work behind the scenes with this Chinese side. Organises on defence, she is a genuine playmaker. And as we've alluded to, has a magnificent skill set. Her passing is absolutely spot on. Those seven points put her up into second spot on the points ladder for this weekend. She's on. 27. Susumi is on 32 from Japan. Nakamura is on 25. Hong Kong needs some ball here. Only just into this game. It feels like a lot of rugby has been played. Nam Kaman is going to look for Poon, who gets hoisted up there. He weighs about 40 kilos. Melody Lee doing some grunt work. Nam gets accosted there at the base of the scrum. A bit slow there. Well read by the Chinese fringe defender though. Trying 
Christ. Find. Set. China then. Here's Goop. Sizes it up. Little show there. Gives it to Shen. Sue with these big wide passes. Here's Yang. And going in hard there was Chan, but she missed the tackle. The line was broken. That's what can happen, of course. But uh, they forced an error anyway. And they'll have a defensive scrum. A long way to go. to see the ball out on the wing. Skipper. He's bagged herself four tries already. Poon Pak Yan has three tries for Hong Kong. As we see Chan Si Ching getting her ankle heavily strapped. Look at that. Some stability back to the ankle look for a big shove here from China yeah and they really go for it don't they but they mistime it Charlie Brown pings them here goes Poon this courageous young woman does well there just didn't have much support with her but she's made 20 30 meters hands in the ruck says Brown Namkar man here goes Ching with her strapped up ankle. Olsen Thorne gets the fan going. She's on the outside. Has she got the gas? No. Coming back at her was Wang. Pulls her in. She's got the fastest out there, Olsen Thorne. It's Chong Ka Yan. Here's Poon. She gets absolutely nailed by Gu. And Gu has done a job on Poon there and stimmied that one. Olsen Thorne, first touch. What a fend. Yeah, Goo was all over Poon. Let's stick up another great play for Goo in this tournament. Certainly makes my tournament team. there. Olsen Thorne gets challenged on the outside. She's up to it. She brings down Wang and Olsen Thorne wins the penalty. She taps and goes, looking for them to be offside. Colin Chosfold gets absolutely munted there and a oh, penalty against her. That's a fantastic tackle coming in from Shen Ying Ying into the final minute of this first half. That was an opportunity. Kong, the underdogs. Wang Yu Yu with the dart. Penalties coming thick and fast. Yang Fei Fei goes quick. Good tackle. Oh, brilliant tackle coming and going backwards. And that was Chong Kai Yan. Saved the day there. This is a seesaw match oh, going Hong on the way. Shot here. Hong Kong can go in here. Here goes Nam. She's not the quickest, unfortunately. Chos falls there. Poon looks down the blind. Gives it to Chong. Ching steadies the ship. Look out, Chos falls. She gets nailed again. That's the second time in a row she's been set up a beauty. Offside, though, says Charlie Brown.
few of the China players' hands on hips. They do look a bit gassed themselves right now. A couple of hands on knees, hands on hips. Huda is gone. What are they cooking here? Poon on the double round. That was telegraphed. That was too easy for the Chinese defence. Right on the halfway. Still 50 to go. They hear into Olsen Thorne. That was Wang Yu Yu absolutely going in at her. And what do we got here? Number five, two half. Number five for China. The Ran Hong Ting. She's gone in a bit high on Olsen Thorne, has she? Offside, no, that was a team penalty, probably. Three in a row. So Poon this time looks for the line. Finds it. Golden opportunity for Hong Kong to get on the board here. Well into overtime of the first half. Up against six. Poon goes up. It's straight. Shots fold to Chong. And look at this defense coming in. Goodness, that's been a hallmark of the China performance this first half. It's just the defense. They've rushed out of the line. Melody Lee gets chopped low. Olsen Thorne now looking to exploit something. Takes two on, tries to get the hands free. Off their feet there, the China defender. Luckily not to get a penalty there as well. Here we go. It's a three on two situation. It's Cheng. Chan, sorry, it's Poon. Poon Hoi Yan, they have breached, finally. And that is a massive confidence booster for Hong Kong. And look at what it means to them. Hugs all around. Huge moment for Hong Kong women's team in China. <laughs> well, what defence just leaked at the end there. On one player down. Well, a bit of a character is the conversion sales over and Poon she's a busy little player loves getting in the action just about has the full pedal of skills and let's just look at the pure enjoyment <laughs> she's giving it everything there and there yes why not it's a good final ball by Chan she takes in the two defenders here Oh, it's, yeah, it's Lee to Chan here. Yeah, draws and pass, takes the last two, and that's classic. As we keep saying, many teams, it's easy to butcher, but perfectly done. Seven all, half time. A cracking second semi final here in the Cup at Hong Kong. There's a Chinese player in back play down. Using the two minutes to get some physio, some magic water. And what have we got coming up next, Jed? Switching back to the men's side of the draw. Asia versus China in the first plate semi-final. Such is the improvement and development of women's rugby in Asia. In the last few seasons, the quality of some of these semi-finals is just outstanding. Very entertaining. And within their own right, just really good for a crowd to get behind evenly matched Jang comes on for China in number three there's a bit of confusion about who's on and who's off well that's because number eight Yang Fei Fei Yang who was down receiving attention just came, <laughs> came back and told the manager no I'm not coming off <laughs> <laughs> Just, so, just waved them off. So that was the end of that conversation. Uh, all, all the administration work on the sidelines was for now.
got to love self, uh, self medication. Oh, look, they've exposed the blind here. And it's been exploited by Wang Yu Yu. And a moment of lapsed attention there. That's a soft try for China. Well worked, but Hong Kong will be a little bit frosty with themselves. Not the way that Hong Kong wanted to see the second half get underway. Oh, and the conversion, that would sting. That will sting. China 14, Hong Kong 7th. Good bit of footwork. Went to go open, changed direction. So, good skill. That wasn't a gimme. 14-7. Just a minute gone in the second half. Gu gets nice and high under that. Melody Lee takes it and gets a firm contact. A vigorous challenge on her. Chosfold looks for Aggie Poon, who's on the field out wide, and it just sails over her head and... That's disappointing for the duo. Yeah, that's a... That is an error, unfortunately, for Hong Kong. Okay, so Hong Kong need to somehow get their hands on the ball. Work their way back into this one again. Nicely taken by Ruan in the line out. Gu. Goodness, those are fantastic passes all out in front. Here goes Wang, the big number one. Gets double teamed by Chong Kai Yan and Aggie Poon. Yang Fei Fei gets ankle tapped in midfield by Chan. This is up nice and high. Yes, but a maul had been called by Mr. Brown from Singapore. Referees manager of the Singapore Rugby Union. Crutch. Fire. Set. China going hard and they've gone early here. Poon. Chong. Cheaply, really. Here come China. Another score here could spell disaster for Hong Kong. Poon's got to get wide now. Can she hold on? Yes, she does. She gets Yang around the hips, but the ball inside to Wang is a beauty. Poon can't stop her coming around. Very well done by China there. Not much you can do about that. Classy finish from Japan, uh, from China. Again, all comes back to good ball movement, accurate passing, and they've just created enough space on the ball coming back for China to open up a crack in the Hong Kong defence. Brown is speaking Mandarin out there to the China players. That's a towering restart from Gu. Ball, ball, ball. 
two and a half minutes. Austin Thorne is still on it. I just saw on the sideline with a bag of ice, but that must have been just during the conversion attempt. Who will face Japan in the final? So China, if it stays like this, it'll be a repeat of the Asia Games gold medal match. Indonesia two weeks ago, just 7-5 the result in that game. Japan edging China. Poons off. That's not straight. Hong Kong coming fifth at the Asia Games. After the quarterfinal loss to Thailand. Disappointing loss for them. Crunch. Set. China also appearing in the Rugby World Cup in San Francisco in July. So got some great experience under their belt, although this is a fairly young team. There goes Sham. Oh, and look at the muscle coming in there. Terrific counter-rug from China. Unlucky. Poon now. They've got a score now. They need it. Here goes Olsen Thorne. She breaks the line. And heads to the sticks. The skipper has done it again. Crucial try. And just out and out determination. She could run through a brick wall, that woman. She virtually has. Well, cool heads needed now on both sides. Maggie Poon, physical presence in the middle, creating some space. Natasha Olsen Thorne off the shoulder. China, messy ball. But they've got it in hand. Now they can just take it to the clock. Here comes Jang, watch out. Oh, yeah. Power runner. Oh, Nam goes low. And Fantastic tackle. Gets her teeth stuck in and holds on. Here we go. We're counting down to the hooter. Hong Kong trying to disrupt it somehow. And hang on. Is that out? Oh, yes. Mate. <laughs> Seen those go wrong. So <laughs> Another fantastic semi-final comes to an end in the cup. How good have these semi-finals been? Hong Kong, when you thought they were out of it, they came back, tries through Poon and Olsen Thorne. But China, well, their defense was magic. They had to resist Hong Kong for a lot of the game. And they've come out champions, and they will go through to the cup final against Japan. Hong Kong can be proud of that one, though, Jed. Well, we. That's a pretty good effort, isn't it? Yes. And Gui 